All of my let's just be friends are Friends I don't have anymore How do you not check on me when things go wrong? Guess I should have tried to keep my family closer Much closer All of my let's just be friends are Friends I don't have anymore Guess it's what they say you need family All right so the reason why I want to do a review on Dream Chasers 4 is because it's kind of popular right now, you know, in the hip hop community. And uh, I saw some reviews on on YouTube, and I really didn't think that it did the album justice. Most of them were like like um, first impressions or something like that. So I just wanted to give like my full like. Um, impression on how I felt about Dream Chasers 4 and always throw that like button in a circle you know just throw it throw it Okay, so my thoughts on his first song on the regular, not my first thoughts, but my, my impression on the song, it was, it was like, um, it was like a, like a, like a hit them folks, you know what I'm saying? Ha, 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 yeah, you know, something like that. Like, I felt like the beat was going with it, but I, I really didn't catch what he was saying, but I, I really liked the beat. I could, I could probably, you know, like, I, I'll be hitting them, I'll be hitting them. Okay, so my thoughts on Blessed Up, it was like a total, like, uh, it didn't it didn't do right. Like, his flow was off, the beat was, wasn't good, it, I don't know, it was like, it wasn't a good song. So, I, I usually skip this, this track, you know, but on to the next. One of my favorites, um, Liddy. Like, the one thing that I keep seeing about Meek Mill and his songs are that the more features or like the more like, like like household names that he has for features on whatever track he's on, the better the song. Liddy was one of my favorite songs on the album, uh, not because of Meek Mill, by the way. Um, I feel like Tory Lanez killed the song, you know, like some notable quotes on the song, like... Niggas talk about my hairline, I laugh about it, I be feeling them. See, we be both making M's, they be making memes, I be making millions. Yeah, and um, I really like the song because uh, Tory Lanez just came out there and he, he just handle this stuff like so usually when I when I listen to it I like skip to the Tory Lanez part or like around the Tory Lanez part sorry Meek Mill okay so my favorite song on the Dream Chasers 4 album was Dreams and Nightmares okay and um Dreams and Nightmares was my favorite song and uh like it, it just it like flow he had he had tons of bars on it and what Man, Dreams and Nightmares was not on Dream Chasers 4. What do you mean? What are you talking about, dude? What you talking about, bruh? Dude, I'll, look I'll look it up look right it up. now. I'll look it up right now. Look it up right now. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah. I'm, I'm You owe me five dollars. Oh, I ain't going to you. You owe me five dollars. You owe me five. Yeah. Look it up. Look it up. Bet, bet, bet. All right, you owe me five. Hey, bro, see, you see, I got confused because I'm not really a, a Meek Mill fan like that. I mean, I thought I thought it was all. See, no, nah, bro, I heard it at the club, bro. I thought it was a new. My, bro, I didn't mean it. Hey, 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 hey,
Froze, I really like until about Nicki Minaj's part. Diamond, make niggas stare at my hands, even though I am not my man. She messed the song up. Talking about some looking at your hands because she's miming or something. I don't know. It was it was something I could have came up last year. You know what? Some of these rappers are making me feel like like I could do this stuff that they doing, you know what I'm saying? Like EP coming soon. That's all I gotta say. You got a bag and I got a bag, but they know the difference. You talking cash and I'm talking cash, but they know the difference. They know the difference. They know the difference. You got a rape and I got a rape, but they know the difference. Put the machine in 2016, so they know the difference. Like I said, another feature heavy song. This nigga Meek Mill, trying to tell you, he he got a uh, designer on the ad libs. He he need to give credit to my man designer, bro. Like designer on the, you know what I'm saying? But like he he didn't put him in the in the feature. So I'm thinking, like, what if I came out with an album and I had Tory Lanez, Uzi, Nicki Minaj, Quavo, Young Thug, Twenty One, YFN. French Montana, Lil Snoop. Man, I be selling like him. Hell, man, I might even call that thing Ass Chasers 5, man. Hell yeah. Ass Chasers 5, coming soon. Man, I could probably rap better than most of the, the rappers, you know, today in this age. This day and age, you know what I'm saying? Like Meat Mill, I could rap better than him. Rap, not freestyle. Rap, not freestyle. You better chill, bruh. Chill. They not ready for, for what I got. All I need is a pen and a pad. Then I'm about to take over. Okay, so now back to the review. The next song, uh, you know, you know, uh, YFN, Luchi, and Meat Mill. Okay, so I feel like YFN, Luchi killed this song. Like, like he, he kind of like, like, like whenever Meat Mill, he, he always finds a way to make his features sound better than him. I know, I know, I made that sound bad. I make it sound like Meat Mill trash. But like, it really sounded like YFN Lucci like was the meat of the song. Okay, to me, Way Up was the last good song until the outro. Um, I kind of like like the flow, you know. Uh, Tracy T killed it. I don't know who that is, honestly. Uh, first time I ever heard him on a track. Okay, so outro wasn't bad, you know, um, like it was like one of Meek Mill's, like like Meek Mill, he handled this song and he, uh, this was his song, you know what I'm saying? He didn't sound like a feature on this song. He actually like, like rapped on it and he did very, very well. I like this song. All right. Um. I'm I'm about to wrap up this review, you know. I, I skipped a couple of songs, but they were trash. You know what I'm saying? Um Ass Chasers five coming soon to a nigga near you. You know, we we passing them out at parties, you know what I'm saying? Bro? Like like I'm dropping on SoundCloud, Spinrilla, uh, YouTube, um, X videos, everything, bruh. Like so so stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Ass Chasers five coming soon to the theaters near you. And as always, leave a like if you enjoy it and make sure to throw that like button in a circle. You feel me? Um, I'm just trying to let y'all know uh, this is a process. You know, I'm going to get better. Each each video I post, I'm getting better. Just, just I'm not going to post no bullshit, you know. I'm just, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. Like, whether it's my editing, my directing, or my acting, I'm going to get better at it. So, um, it's a process. Just subscribe if you like to be along for the ride. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And um, be sure to check out Light Skin Bros. We, I posted a, a video on there last week.
pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out. All right? Light skin Ed. Peace. Yeah, look at me now. They look at me like the golden child. Can't nobody hold me down. Especially not right now. Search.